All right. Thank you so much. So our next session is uh, with a very well-known, uh, established, uh, someone who has easily been on both sides of the fence, uh, the ravishing, uh, the most uh, prominent name in the film industry today, in the OTT space as well, Ms. Ravina Tandon. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on E4M Play uh, on this session. Thank you, Rohail. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you. Pleasure. So uh, the, uh, the discussion would be around, you know, how you have easily uh, transitioned from traditional cinema to OTT. Give me a sense of was it easy for you to make the shift and then you tasted success as well. Um, how do you see it now? Well, you know, uh, honestly, I don't think it is very, very difficult for an actor to or an artist to make the shift uh, from big screen to the small screen or from the small, small screen onto a, a streaming platform because uh, I think every, I, I, I can't speak generically for everybody so I will only speak for myself. I think my love affair is with the camera. So when the camera and the character are given to me in my hand uh, and, and the minute action is said, it's me out there giving my best into that uh, a lens which is ultimately the medium which will be streamed it could be streamed anywhere it could be on the big screen it could be uh, on 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 a uh, you know a streaming uh, on a platform it could be on tv for me it is that connect with the audience that matters as an artist am i giving my best to the character that has been given to me to play and am i reaching out to my audience and the way for me to reach out to my audience is through that camera and then ultimately through the medium from what it is going to be streamed ultimately or finally at. And uh, that I think is very important for me as an actor to do is to be in love with my work and try to connect with my audience. Right. Absolutely. I think in love with the camera is what the re real acting is all about and real performance is all about. You know, from the 90s to 2020s, uh, when you look back, uh, how would you define the shift that we have seen in, in cinema overall? Um, honestly, from the 90s to now, we are in 2022. Uh, there definitely has been a strong ev evolution. And I think uh, it has only happened for the best. Uh, to a certain extent, there have always been a certain kind of competition to the big screen, to the cinema. Uh, whether it came in the form of DVDs or VCDs or... Uh, you know, uh, different channels opening up on, on, on television or then now with the internet streaming that is happening and different platforms that are uh, mushrooming every single day. Uh, but I think the, the, the love for, for the big screen and, and the magic of cinema will always stay on. But the plus point, the advantage that has been is that somehow OTT platforms, uh, uh, including television to a certain extent, has... Uh, you know, opened or broadened our horizons to different kind of uh, cultures, different shows uh, coming from different countries uh, and, and their traditions and their stories and their way of and their way of storytelling. So to be honest, in, in, in the 90s, we only had the exposure if we went to uh, film festivals to see an Iranian film or if we had to see a Russian film or a film from China. That is when we would get the opportunity to see these kind of different films uh, and different kinds of storytelling. But now everything's at the tip of our finger, you know, everything at the tip of our fingers. And uh, for the audience also, it's been an introduction and exposure and awareness of different kind of filmmaking that is there globally. So it has, I think, to a certain extent, opened out different avenues for a lot of directors, a lot of um, actors who who probably, you know, have, uh, you know, wanted to make experimental cinema, but somehow could never, uh, you know, uh, muster up uh, the, not not courage exactly, but muster up the, the opportunities or, or going beyond the pressures of the main box office to be able to showcase their talent and their work, which now 
everyone has these great opportunities because every kind of storytelling today has a certain audience it might be a niche audience but it is out there and you're you're, you're not uh, uh you know pressurized by okay i only have 3 hours to put or, or two and a half hours to make this into a movie and show it out today you have the platforms that are there streaming this into people's homes and you can uh, uh you know give them a a, a different um uh you know whatever the director's visualized or imagined or what he wanted to give to the audience so i feel in that perspective our cinema has actually opened up you know we broadened our horizons we've got uh, uh, amazing amount of talent new talent uh, you know talent like me who probably was was there but then we were not getting the kind of opportunity that we wanted to showcase the kind of work that we could do uh and aranya today thank god uh, god has been really kind has done wonderfully well but i don't know if aranya could have been made into a movie you see so that is the kind of um um uh, opportunities that have come uh, everyone's way right. which i great for our cinema right you know i totally agree with you i think the opportunities uh, to experiment are far more uh, Uh, greater than we had earlier you know with these new platforms coming in uh, which also uh, you know push this uh, point forward i want to ask you about you know we also all, always say that ott with ott great content has come but a lot of people say that great content was always there is just that you got an opportunity to to showcase it differently so what do you have to tell people who say that you know today cinema is more content driven Well I I I I think I kind of agree with that and I kind of disagree with that because we've always had a lot of movies which have had great content we've had great content even then we have it now but I I think like I said uh every uh decade I think you kind of evolve into a different kind of filmmaking you go into a different zone according to uh what the audiences want as well um i i can give you a prime example uh if you see the film andaz apna apna at the time uh, it was released unfortunately it didn't make the kind of noise that it should have but today it's a cult film with all the youngsters so maybe that was a film before time it's not that we didn't have the content but it also at the given moment did the audience accept that kind of comedy no they didn't at that at at, at that time of period if i remember very clearly a lot of films were being made with you know double meaning dialogues and a little bit of buffoonery which was being uh, translated as comedy and that, those films were working but when a straight faced you know a simple clean family film with a comedy like andaz apna apna came people were like oh what is this and then later on it becomes a cult film so there are times where you want to give that kind of content but sometimes you are kind of you know your hands are tied uh but i think even then and now we've had great movies and we have some great movies coming up as well even now there's great cinema and right. there's great happening so my question is you know in the wake of great content you know have face uh, values and acting styles become redundant in any way um rohel if you ask me i think both to a certain extent just a certain extent work hand in hand it might and it might not also so it's not necessary that a big name will definitely sell the film or will definitely sell the uh show the web show it also depends on the content and if you ask me there are so many times when big names have been taken into a show and unfortunately the show might have not done well or it hasn't lived up to expectations but there can be many factors to that but again for filmmakers if they are making a show where they know that this established actor will bring credit on to the table and will definitely be able to uh, get into the skin of the character and give them what they want then i think that's just an added bonus so it's 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 nothing that you can say definitely like for example i mean if if uh, again you take my show itself aranyak uh it's not that there are no other talented actors to have played kasturi dogra 
but maybe there was something about my personality that you'll have to ask rohan and and sid why but somehow that they preferred to go with me on that uh and then of course there was param and then there was ashutosh ji so these are these this this was our bunch of you know established actors param has proved himself in so many uh films and shows that he's done and uh, you know that you've taken him half your battle is won for a director also it's half your battle is won because you know what he will deliver likewise with ashutosh rana ji there is no two ways if i was the director there was no two ways i would have thought that he would not do justice to his role because he's proven himself you know so there is there is a plus and minus in 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 everything my next question ravina is uh, about traditional uh, cinema versus the ott a lot of critics said uh, say they still say that uh, you know uh, traditional um, may be you know written off while others say that they have to coexist because there's lot of story there are a lot of stories to be told lot of talent to be featured what is your take between this ott versus traditional um uh, first and foremost i don't think uh, in my opinion i could be completely wrong again i cannot generalize this answer in my opinion i think the lines have fused somehow um i think even our uh, traditional cinema as to speak what you call i think has evolved a lot we've got great past breaking breaking stories that are coming out every second day a lot of experimental cinema also happening and a lot of inclusive cinema that's happening so it's not that oh it's only traditional and conservative and we are not going into uh, you know not walking into the future uh, as far as ott platforms are concerned like i said there is no debate whether ott platform or cinema uh, i think each holds its own uh, yes you can experiment a lot more with ott uh, but then i think the risk for both is equal whether you make an uh, make a film that ex- a- is experimental and whether that works or no there'll be losses to the producer the distributors the actors to everybody likewise even on an ott platform i think the risk taken is also with everyone investing so much besides their hard work and besides the uh, emotions that are invested everyone has invested a certain part of themselves so even that for not working also can be a chance but yes ott you just still have that little bit of uh, uh, you know especially for the filmmakers the risk is not there of that box office pressure or of you know konsa show full hua konsa show full nahi hua ab collection kya hai aaj ka collection kya hai drop hui picture ki nahi drop hui yes you have a certain viewership for the ott platform but you always do also find your niche audience um so for me i think uh, when you see the shows that are being streamed in in india Uh, a lot of them also are uh, 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 you know uh, there are lot that are experimental but also uh, kind of sticking to uh, you know uh, basically i think country wise which culture and what kind of stories that we like seeing and likewise i think our uh, film producers and directors are doing the same and if you really go to see uh, a lot of our production houses uh, from the film industry are making ott shows as well so for me the lines have fused there's 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 no partitions so to speak really right right of course i think uh, a lot of uh, action is happening in that space and things will keep on changing which brings me to my last question followed by some quick uh, ra- rapid fire question that i have uh, what do you miss about the 90s uh honestly nothing <laughs> <laughs> in the dance bit of the song in the dance i think music was great in the 90s the 90s music was just just uh, even now so relatable everyone just wants to you know hear the 90s songs remixed and and back to every party you walk into the the 90s uh, music going on and uh, i mean we had great melodies uh, even at that time we had some great albums um uh I, i i miss yes probably the music part of it uh i'm i'm glad the 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 other sensibilities have moved on from the 90s and we've like i said <laughs> but i i do miss the music of the 90s i i definitely right. of the 90s for sure after and the kind of uh, shelf life uh, and you know the way the songs connected that time it was another different uh, story altogether Uh, all right now we move on to our next uh, conversation uh, which is 
rapid fire questions uh, all set ravina for this geared up okay munna bai or kali bai of mirzapur the lovable munna bai aranyak to me is the strength of a woman kasturi dogra actors looking for work across ott need to mehnat karte jao apna time aayega lovely who would you like to do an ott film with sanjay leela bansali your favorite ott show is aranya 2 <laughs> टिप टिप बरसा और आखियों से गोली मारे गर्मियों में टिप टिप बरसा पानी की प्रार्थना है उस्तादी की तो अखियों से भी गोली मार सकते हैं दो ही जने रजनीकांत जी और मैं जो अखियों से गोली मार सकते हैं तीसरा आजकल घुस के भी मारते हैं फाइनल टू मोर क्वेश्चन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ वुमेन लाइज इन हो इनो फेथ दुले राजा और अखियों से गोली मारे दुल्हे राजा एंड अखियों से गोली मारे तो दुल्हे राजा अखियों से गोली मारे तो दुल्हे राजा में था तो दुल्हे राजा के बगैर अखियों से गोली मारे नहीं हो सकता एक अखियों से गोली तो ही जाने इस पूरे देश में है और इंडस्ट्री में एक रजनीकांत सर और एक मैं absolutely and that's a wrap uh, we can't wait to see you uh, come attend the award show on uh, and and collect your big win uh, for the night thank you so much for joining us thank you thank you for having me here